Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from a very rainy Menasha, Wisconsin. How is everybody doing tonight? Yay! I'm going to wait for a few of you to come in. I'm going to get my iPad going here. I had it up and then it turned off as it does. I don't know why. <laughs> Things, right? Yeah. Hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend. Oh, I see lots of you coming in. Hi, Cindy and Kelly. We've got Janie in here. Yay. Let me find my live. There I am. All right. Here comes all my people. Lori, Nicole, Rose, Lori, Melissa, Mary Lynn, Jody. Hi, Jody. Happy to see all you guys in here tonight. Oh, my good Lord. I'm getting hot already. So my hair is probably gonna fuzz out, but it won't be till after I turn the camera around. It is so humid here, it is crazy. So I had a wonderful, wonderful week off. I hope you guys had a good week too. Um, we went camping with um, my husband, Steve, and yeah, I'm gonna have to turn on my fan, hang on. I'm like gonna have a hot flash here shortly. Whew. But don't worry, I have my hot flash cooling mist thanks to Wendy. <laughs> um, we went camping with Steve and Haley and Jared, my daughter and her husband, and um, Valerie, Little Miss Valerie, and Little Miss Molly. And we had so much fun. Like, it was a blast. Um, I got to ride in Steve's boat that he bought back in April but had only had in the water one other time. <laughs> because we're busy people. <laughs> so I got to read in, um, or we did a ride in Steve's boat. I didn't actually go fishing, but we did take Molly and Jared um, tubing. And we went for a ride around the lake because we like to go around the lake and look at the beautiful homes. Hi, Haley. I see you're on here tonight. So we did that. And um, Steve and Jared and Haley went fishing um, several times. They were catching crappies, like lots of crappies. We're going to have a fish fry. And we met up with some um, hunting friends of mine that live in the area we were camping in and went out to dinner. So that was really fun. What else? My mom came down with my sister and her kids to the beach at the lake that we were camping on. And um, the kids got to play in the water. That was fun. We walked to the ice cream stand. Oh, funny little story. So this is so funny what kids remember. So Molly's 10 years old, right? And last year, we it was the first year we went on this camping trip. We took Molly with us last year also. So this year, she was with me a day early. And um, we were running around doing all the things we need to get ready to go camping. And we went to the bank and I got out $200. And um, it was funny because she said, oh, granny. She calls me her million dollar granny. <laughs> granny, I remember last year you took out $300 all for ice cream. And this year you're taking out $200 all for ice cream. So it was kind of funny because last year, and she's like, $300? What are you going to do with that? I said, it's all for ice cream. <laughs> There's an ice cream stand at the camping office. And so we go to ice, go get ice cream frequently. It's pretty funny. But we ate really good. I made um, homemade buttermilk pancakes and bacon and sausage and um, French toast with Texas toast and scrambled cheesy eggs and toast and... What else did we have? Steve made crock pot lasagna while we were there and we had cheeseburgers, Jared grilled cheeseburgers and toasted our buns and we ate like kings and queens, I'm telling you. Everybody had a really good time until it was the day to leave. And that morning we woke up and it was literally pouring, like raining cats and dogs and it proceeded to rain cats and dogs all day long yesterday, Saturday, right into still raining today. Like it's horrible. So there's nothing more fun, I don't think, than packing up a camper in the pouring rain and a boat and a trailer and all the bicycles. And then you have all the tree dirt, right? Because camping is dirty 
And then when you throw water in there, it's even worse. <laughs> So Steve's garage is looks like a hanging graveyard. He's got everything hanging from the ceiling to dry out. The boat was drenched because we don't have a cover to cover it when you're driving down the road. We have a cover when it's sitting, but not when you're driving. So he um, has everything hanging up. I did 5 million loads of laundry. We, we had to bring home all the bedding, of course, from the camper and wash all of that and all of our clothes. And we had to do it fairly quickly because it's all wet. Like everything was damp and icky and yucky and whatever. But you know what? It was totally worth it. And I can't wait to do it again next year. It'll be even more fun then. So yay. Um, it was a very enjoyable week off. Oh, the other thing that happened is I was trying to keep up on my emails every day because otherwise that can become really um, an overload. So I was keeping up on my emails every day. And then at one point, our internet, we have really good internet um, service on our phones at this campground. But at one point, everybody's phones went down. Like the phones wouldn't work, the internets wouldn't work. I was on my computer and that stopped working. And I'm like, oh, well, close it up. We'll deal with it later. When I came back to it later, um, when I'm away, I start an email and keep it in my drafts that I it's my things to do list. That's the title of it, things to do. And when I came back to it, I had put a whole bunch of things in there and they were all gone. It didn't save it. So I was like, oh my good Lord, I did all this work. And yeah, so if you messaged me over the last week and whatever we talked about doesn't happen or you'd like to just check with me, <laughs> please do so because I tried really hard to remember all the things. I know I got a lot of bingo orders in last week and I did find all of those and get them redone because that's one of the things that was in my missing email. But good Lord, you know, just when you think you're on your game and you're trying to keep up on stuff and then you get thrown a curveball like that and you're like, why did I even bother? <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, Cindy said they got another two inches of rain up there. She's from where we were camping. Her and her husband came to visit us. Um, as did my Aunt Janet and my Uncle Pete. And then we went and saw a house that my Uncle Pete built that's right on the lake. And it's not really a house. It's like a mansion. It took him five years to build it. It is just crazy, 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 excessive, crazy. Like, it was really cool to go through the house, though. He took us through the whole thing. We got to see every room. And it has a floor-to-ceiling big rock fireplace and it's like three stories in this room. It goes all, it's crazy. Anyways, it was lots of fun. I miss you guys a lot. I really did. Um, when I got back yesterday, I didn't come up here. I had too much other things to deal with, but I started it off right away this morning and I was, I was happy to be back in my office creating and doing the things that I love as well as camping, right? <laughs> yeah. So it was fun. Little Miss Val started talking. She says, Mama. And then she calls Molly Mama. <laughs> and she says, Papa. And hi and bye. Um, and she did say please once. So it was really cute. But she's starting to talk now. She still doesn't say Dada. Sorry, Jared. It is what it is, man. <laughs> we can't get her to say Dada at all. <laughs> but it was really sweet. We had a really good time. So what's happening tonight? Well, I'm excited because I have a whole bunch of things to show you. I also, my hair is getting in my mouth. Please excuse me. It's annoying. Um, my fan's blowing from over that way. But um, I have a whole bunch of things to show you. Um, I have three cards we're going to make tonight. One of them uses one of my very favorite techniques for fall cards. And I know you guys are just going to love it. And if you've followed me for a while, you've seen it before. But it's still going to be fabulous. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Yeah. Um, I do have to tell you too that Steve hollered upstairs this morning. He says, what are you doing? And I said, I am getting ready for my Facebook live. And he goes, it's about time you got back to work. <laughs> so yeah, he's like, right. Um, first of all, I wanted to let you guys know that I have an online class using the You're a Peach suite of products and I have a few of these packets left. There are three different options to order 
um, this particular online class, the first option is to order everything. You get like a whole bunch of stuff in the suite and some stuff not in the suite, but everything uses is used to make the cards in a pre-cut cardstock pack. All this is cut for you and ready to roll. Um, that's option number one. It includes the stamp set and the dies and a whole bunch of other stuff. All the information is on my blog, www.astampabove.com. But um, that's $95 and you get this pre-cut cardstock pack and the online class PDF with video tutorials for all the cards. There's nine different cards for free when you order option number one. Option number two is $45. It comes with the online PDF with the videos and pictures and dimensions and written instructions, plus the pre-cut cardstock pack, plus a half a pack of the champagne rhinestones, a spool of the linen thread, and also um, a roll of this woven ribbon. That's $45. And the third option is to order the PDF, nine different cards, video tutorials for each, and that's $20. But I do have some of these packs left. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Now on my Facebook page tonight, the link to go to my online classes is going to be on there, that, or this online class that tells you all the details about it. I think I po I'm, I'm having it post about 7.30. So when we're done here stamping tonight, you can refresh your screen and scroll down until you see the You're a Peach online class and click on that. It'll take you to all the details and how you can order it. But it is a beautiful, beautiful class. And then I wanted to share with you guys just some peach cards. These are not the cards that are in the class, but these are some swap cards that I got using the you're a peach suite and there are a gazillion gazillion ideas this is one of the funnest easiest suites to create with it's just incredible so much fun and let's see this is also from the peach suite isn't that pretty yeah Beautiful, beautiful designer series paper. Decorate those envelopes. Here's another one. Gorgeous, right? Yeah, these are all super, super pretty. The paper, the paper does a lot of the work, right? I love it when the paper does the work. I told you I had a ton of these. <laughs> I actually host a bundle swap every month and this was our bundle one month. So we've got a gazillion little ideas. Look at how cute that is. This is one of our um, edgelet dies. It comes in a whole set with different edgelets. So, so pretty. Oh, here's a card that I made. And it is a gift card holder. Gift card goes right in this little pocket right here. It's all made out of designer series paper. Right? Pretty cool. Here's another one that I made. Fun fold with the designer series paper. Aww. Yeah, gorgeous, right? This is a video on my web, on my blog. You can find that. Here's another beautiful one. This is made by my friend, Kathy Miller. Uh, another gorgeous one. <laughs> Are you guys sick of them yet? I don't think so, right? Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Now this is a little different. This isn't even peach, but that's the stamp set. Fun, right? And one more. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So, like I said, I have um, some class packets left and I would like to get them out of here to make room for new class packets, which, hang on a second, brings me into my next item that I wanted to tell you about, if I can find it. It's here someplace, just bear with me. Da -da. Um, what did I do with it? <laughs> I just had it, I'm not even kidding. I wanted to show you what my next online class is going to be. But, hmm, I don't know what I did with it. Can I put it over here? No. Good Lord, Kelly. I didn't tuck it in here. Maybe I put it in one of my bins. Hang on. Now everything's gonna be falling all over the place. I did not, I didn't know where it went, but I'll show you the catalog. Dang it. <laughs> I hate it when I do stuff like that. I thought it was like so 
darn prepared. Oh well, mistakes happen, right? Yep, I'm the queen. <laughs> this is why I wear a crown. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are so understanding. You're always so patient with me and I really appreciate it. Look at this. This is called the Pretty Pumpkins Bundle. Mm -mm 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 -mm. These dies are just incredible. And if I find them, I will show them to you because they're here someplace. I just don't know what I did with them. Anyways, this is going to be my August kit class. So I just wanted to give you a little heads up on that. I don't have anything figured out yet. I don't know what's gonna be included in the kit other than we're going to be using the Pretty Pumpkins. And the thing that really drew me to this, and I wanted to show you the dies because they're incredible, is this pumpkin die right here. I don't even know if you can see that because it's so tiny in here. But um, that pumpkin die is just incredibly beautiful. And Haley was actually working with it last week when she was here for a Stamp Happy Academy. Um, here's a better picture. Live class that I do. She was designing a card with this. And look at that pumpkin. That delicious. Like, it makes my heart happy. I love this. And, of course, the whole thing is beautiful. But I can't wait to figure out what's going to be in the kit and all the good things. So watch for that coming on my blog soon. We'll figure that out. And um, if you happen to miss it, while I was gone, I had some videos that I posted because, of course, Celebration and the um, JD Mini Catalog started, our holiday mini catalog. Oh, thank you for asking for hearts. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. But this is one of those super simple little cards that I made and posted while I was gone. This uses the Clever Cats stamp set in the Holiday Mini Catalog. And then here is another one, a new embossing folder. Well, actually, both of these. This is the Time Worn. I think that's what it's called. Time Worn Embossing Folder. New embellishments, self-adhesive star sequins. I use the black ones on here, the orange ones on here. Great way to use little scraps and this gingham ribbon, you guys. Oh my gosh, if you don't have any, get yourself some because it is, I, I'm sure we're gonna, it's gonna go on back order. I'm just positive because it is so amazing. It just pops everything, beautiful. And then the delicate dahlias. Oh my good Lord. This flower is one of our distinctive images and it looks real, just real. It is so, so pretty. And then of course the paper, um, the stamp set delicate dahlias is free with your $100 order. And then we've got the black and white paper that's free with a $50 order. And I just happened to have that laying right here. I was going to put it away and then I thought, nope, just in case you've missed it, this is a free pack of paper. Oops, let me see if I can. I should always separate these out first so that I can bring up different, there we go. Okay, here we go. I should do this, right? Kelly, let's think a little bit. <laughs> black and white, it's all black and white. So here's the back of this one. Here's the back of this one. And here's the back of this one. And of course, one of the reasons why I love, um, the cards are backwards because my camera doesn't adjust for that. I think that was, was it Carol that said that? That the cards are backwards? No, Darla, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, it, you know, it, it says thank you kindly, but um, they're backwards because my camera is not flipped around yet. When I put my camera down on my desk, everything will be the right way. So just so you know that, thank you. But anyways, free with the $50 order. And one of the things that I love about black and white paper is that you can color it, you can sponge it, you can dauber it, you can brayer it, you can, you can just take an ink pad and smear it across it and make it red and black or blue and black or whatever colors you want. So it's just so versatile, I absolutely love it. This is called Beautifully Penned. It goes with, it matches our, our hand-penned suite of products. And um, it's free with a $50 order until the end of September. Don't let me forget to show you guys all of my mail when we're done stamping tonight, okay? Because I have some gorgeous mail 
to share with you. And you're going to see me doing this a lot because my fan is making hair in my face and it drives me crazy and I'm sorry. <laughs> it is what it is. It's hot. Um, we have winners from the last time I was live. Now, there's three ways to win. One of them is to leave a comment. So if you're new to me, you're coming in here, just say hi, Kelly, or hi, or hi from Bismarck, North Dakota, or whatever you would like, but make sure you leave at least one comment that will get you entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. I have silver and clear epoxy essentials. These are gorgeous little embellishments. And for commenting on my last Facebook Live, I have Bonnie Braden. These are going to be on their way to you. So congratulations. Then the second way that you can win in my drawings is by sharing this video. And you can click on the share button. It's on your screen right now someplace. You click on the share button and share this video. That really helps me grow my business and get out to more people, and I so appreciate that. And for sharing my video last time, I have this beautiful, this is called, hang on, let me find it. I don't know, I think it's just called thank you. Oh, thanks and hello. Thanks and hello embossing folder. And um, yeah, let me open it up so you can see it. It's pretty cool. This is These are one some of our mini embossing folders. So here's the, oh, this is backwards, so it should be right side up. Look at that. See, now if I turn it around so that I can read it, it's backwards, but I can do this. It comes with this folder, hello, and also the thanks folder. And it just says thanks in a gazillion different ways and hello in a gazillion different ways. You get both of these in a pack. For sharing my video last time, Judy Dempton, I have a set of these embossing folders on their way to you if I can put them back together and get them back in the package. So let's see if Kelly can do it. And I think she can, whoops. So if you guys been watching the Olympics, we watched um, a fairly good amount of Olympics. We would pop the TV on when we were done camping for the day and we were watching the Olympics. And can I just say that swimmer from the US smoking hot. <laughs> I can't remember his name. It was something different, but he was really good looking. Anyways, Judy, congratulations before I got off on a tangent. And then last of all, um, when you place an order with me, you get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And I have Create with Friends. This is a fantastic sentiment set. It has amazing celebrate friends, create, and love are the big images and then together welcome be forever day your you happy best hello let's ever this is going out to patricia flanagan of blairsville georgia for placing an order with me since my last facebook live so congratulations to everybody thank you so much okay are we ready to stamp because i think we are i'm excited okay I've got you plugged in. I am going to flip my camera around here. And well, we'll get out our stuff first. I'll get all the stuff ready to go here. I do have an envelope that I want to decorate, so we'll get that out. I have some samples to share with you using this particular stamp set too, so please don't let me forget to show those to you. Lots of times I get rolling and then I forget all the things that I wanted to share with you, and it's kind of, it's really annoying to me most of the time, you don't even know what's happening, but let's just say you're getting gypped. <laughs> don't let me gyp you, okay? All right. Now, this was my Technique Club card um, for last month. And I do have a Technique Club, and you can find that on my blog in the right-hand column. There is a Technique Club button that you can press. And take a look at that, but it's a lot of fun. And each month I do a different technique and I type up instructions. You get a short quarter sheet of paper. And let me see if I can grab these for you. Let's see. You get a quarter sheet of paper with a sample of the technique on it and the technique. You also get a card made with the technique. So here's just a few. 
and you place a minimum, I think it's a minimum $25 or $30 order, I can't even remember, each month consecutively for six months. And at the end of that, you get a $30 credit towards anything you want. And each month you get a card and an instruction card. So if you're interested in the details on that, you will find them on my blog in the right-hand column. Okay, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to play. Oh, hang on, I gotta get one more thing out. Whoops, my basket of goodness just fell on the floor. <laughs> It'll be fine. Okay, hang tight. We're gonna flip this around. If you get motion sickness, just close your eyes and I will tell you when to open them. Where's my flippy deal? There it is. Okay, Whew. hopefully I won't push anything that shuts us off. If that happens, I will come right back on. So just know that. See if I can get these lights adjusted so they're not glaring so bad. There we go. It's, it's painful. Lighting is painful. That's all I have to say about it. Hang tight. I'm not ready yet. There we go. Now, before I forget, if you are, you can open your eyes now. If you're placing an order with me and your order is under $150, this is my current host code. You're going to use that code. If your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely, definitely want you to have them. Hi, Marsha. Hey, I just wanted to let you know, Marsha, that your kit is going to, I'm going to get all the product in on Tuesday. So I'll get your kit in the mail either Tuesday or Wednesday morning, just so you know. Okay. Gorgeous leaves. Oh my goodness, so, so pretty. And of course, there is a set of dies that have all these fabulous dies in here. And right next to summer, my favorite next holiday is fall because I love, I love the weather. The colors here in Wisconsin are amazingly beautiful with all the different leaves changing colors. It's just so, so pretty. And, um, I love fall right next to summer and so I'm going to be using this beautiful bundle called gorgeous leaves and then these I think are called the leaf dies let me look intricate leaves dies and we're gonna use this one but lots of lots of options this branch in here is really cool too but you have detailed leaves and then you have outlines that'll cut out the images on here and also with the stamp set, we have a fantastic, some um, background stamps, some little dots. You've got some tiny leaves that are really pretty and also this wood image. Okay, along with this, I chose the Heartfelt Wishes. And this is actually a stamp set that I brought back from um, Hawaii. I'm looking at Marsha's comment. Marsha, we're good. Marsha says, sorry, crabby emoji came on. Sorry, Kelly. Added a heart one right after. We're good, Marsha. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're so sweet. Um, this Heartfelt Wishes is a beautiful, beautiful fonts in here. We've got Christmas, holidays, gratitude, love for Valentine's, cheers, Happy New Year from our family to you and yours, this wondrous season and heartfelt wishes that goes along with all of these. I love the font on here. It's so, so pretty. But I got this free for, I, I, it was either a gift when I was in Hawaii on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip or I spun the wheel and I won this one. I can't remember, but we came home with so much stuff we almost needed another suitcase. So, yeah. Oh my goodness. Who can, Jenny says she has pretty much everything in the mini catalog. No more buying for her until October. Well, October's just around the corner, Jenny. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be using Cajun Craze ink. And we're going to get everything ready. And then we're going to do that super cool little technique. So, oh, here's my... Oh, I was looking for that. Um, I'm going to bring in my cardstock layers here get out all my little goodies. Okay, we have an envelope. We're going to stamp that up. I'm using Cajun Craze for my um, card base. Judy, did you see you won something? What did Judy win? Judy won a prize. Um, I don't know if you saw that. I, 
I don't see all the comments, you guys, but you're winning these. Yay, Judy. I just saw her pop on here, so I had to just give her a shout out. She might have already seen it, but I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to see all the comments coming in. If you guys ever have a question for me that I don't answer, please feel free to email me. This is my blog address, but my email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at symbol, a stamp above dot com. Um, email me and I will be able to answer your question if I, if I miss it on here, okay? Because I hate that I miss some of the comments or questions. Okay, eight and a half by five and a half. We are ready to rock. What did I do with the, oh, there it is. Okay, then we have a piece of white, four by five and a quarter. And then we have another piece of white that is three quarters by three and a quarter. And we're going to stamp our sentiment on there. So I've got the much gratitude. Of course, that goes along well with our fall, right? And I am going to see if I can get this stamped on here straight. And I did it! I am a professional. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, you guys have seen me do so many crooked things. But look at how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, we're going to get this ready right away. I want to show you this beautiful, bedazzling 6x6 six six paper. This is a specialty paper. There are eight sheets in here of this gorgeous, gorgeous champagne colored glitter paper. And the nice thing about this is it doesn't rub off so you get glitter everywhere. It is smashing. This is free during celebration. So when your order reaches $50 before tax and shipping, you get, you get, <laughs> you can choose a pack of this. I'm just reading what Tina just said. Tina says, did you mention the fall stamp of Palooza during your opening? I did not, Tina. Thank you very much for that reminder. Dina Barb and I are hosting another retreat. It's called the fall stamp of Palooza. And you can find information for it. Um, I will post it again or bring it to the top of the news feed on Facebook. It includes a $100 swag box of Stampin' Up! product and just an entire blast of a time with tons and tons of make and takes and ideas and drawings and contests and mystery stamping and bingo and all the things. It is going to be a fantastic event. It is taking place in September. I think it's September 23rd or something like that. All the details are on my on my blog. But thank you for reminding me about that. It's $149. And you will not want to miss this because we're going to be using all the stuff. Well, not all. I mean, obviously, that's a little ridiculous. But most of the stuff from the holiday mini catalog is going to be featured. We have card galleries that Barb, Dina, and I each contribute to with like 15 cards each, so you're gonna look at 45 different cards just in that part of it. Thank you, Tina. Okay, I am going to add my, oh, by the way, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Um, this paper is one by two and three quarters. If I forgot to say that, I apologize. I'm just gonna add some glue to the middle of this three quarter inch by three and a quarter inch white layer and we're gonna put that specialty paper behind it. Now, if anybody's joining us late, the specialty paper is free. It's called Be Dazzling, free with a $50 order during celebration. Okay, and we can add dimensionals to the back of that if we can find them, here they are. So we're gonna have this ready to rock and roll. We'll set that aside. Isn't that so pretty? Just that little element with that little bling behind there really adds a lot. I, I love that look. Okay, next up, we are going to take this leaf and I've got cherry cobbler and pear pizzazz. I am going to run this through my mini embossing machine. When you have an outline die like this, you can die cut two layers at once, just so you know. Especially when I'm making up card kits and I have to die cut something, I will double them up just like this. 
it's hard for me to turn this at this angle to stay out of the, keep my head out of the camera. But here comes our cherry cobbler leaf. Oh, and our pear pizzazz. Okay, so we've got both of those done. And let me get this out of the way here. We're gonna use that again, but not right this moment. All right, so I'm gonna bring in this white layer. I'm getting all the prep work done here. I'm gonna bring in the white layer. And this again was four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to take my Cajun Craze ink and this wood grain stamp. Yeah, Judy says you didn't know you could double the paper. You certainly can. It's pretty cool and it really saves a lot of time if you're making multiples, right? I am going to stamp this kind of right here in the middle of my white layer. And then we're going to do our technique. And I've got a scrap here. I think I'm gonna grab some more scraps, hang on. I've got a bunch of scraps here. One, two, three, four. As long as we're doing this, we might as well do it right. <laughs> as long as you're gonna do this, you might as well make multiples. Okay, so I've got six scraps here of basic white. Ouch. I don't know what's been going on with my shoulder today, but it's been catching on me, and I don't like that. I don't know if frozen shoulder is like a thing that stampers get, but um, I feel like I know a lot of stampers who have had frozen shoulder, and I better not be getting it. <laughs> this is our silicone craft mat, and I just took a baby wipe, and I'm going to fold it into fours because I just like that cush. And you can see I wipe my fingers on it already. It's dirty. For those of you that are curious, I buy Huggies Natural Care. Um, I do not like the less expensive baby wipes because they tend to have a lot of lint on them. So if you actually use them to clean your stamps, you're going to get lint all over the place. Some of them I really don't like, the, the less expensive ones, because they stink. They're like, their perfume is so strong and gross, it's disgusting. And um, I really like these, and I like to support Huggies because it's Huggies are made by Kimberly, Kimberly Clark Corporation, and they are located right here in Nina, Wisconsin, which is right next to Menasha. So I know a lot of people who work at KC, their world headquarters is here, so I like to support them but they are really good baby wipes. There's my little plug for baby wipes. Now, I've got reinkers or refills. I've got pear pizzazz, Cajun craze, cherry cobbler, and pumpkin pie. These are my fall colors. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take, oh, I have to show you this first. This is the stamp that I'm going to be using with this technique. So. What you need to do is you need to make an ink palette that is big enough to handle this stamp. So I have to sploosh this around. And can I just say that sometimes people think that, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna waste my reinkers like this. Let me tell you, I have had my reinkers forever. It is very rare that I ever buy new reinkers, like hardly ever. So these last forever. Don't be afraid to use this technique because it's so fun and it's so worth it. And I'm just going to get myself a palette. I think I'll bring in some more green in here. You need a palette that's gonna be big enough to accommodate your stamp. There we go, I think we have it. Okay, let me get these put away. It's kind of messy. Oh, this goes on here. And if you're a neat freak, you could wipe these all off nicely, but you guys know me well enough to know that I have no issue with that. <laughs> right, I'm kind of messy. I don't care about things like that. Okay, now I'm gonna just push this aside. We're gonna bring in our white scraps and you're going to tap, tap, tap 
stamp. Look at the gorgeousness. Is that not screaming fall? Screaming. Tap, 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 another one. 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 You can make up a gazillion of these, right? I'm gonna bring my envelope in. Now, the kind of stamps that work best for this, it's called the baby wipe reinker technique. The kind of stamps that work best for this are your um, more solid stamps, okay? If you had like an outline stamp, let me see if I can find something here. Oh, for example, this particular card, this uses the celebration paper, by the way, and this is the hand pen, but this particular card um, they colored in these flowers. So this is a line art stamp, meaning that it's not solid rubber. It's just lines outlining the images, which are flowers and leaves. This doesn't work that great with this technique. Uh, let me find another one here. See if I can find another one. We need a solid image something or another. Ugh, I'm not finding one. Oh, here we go. Well, I don't know if that'll really work that good. But here is a beautiful, delicate dahlias. Now this is a more solid image. This would work better with a baby wipe technique. And you can use, of course, different colors. And I was thinking about that. I really wanted to make another um, card for you today using this, something other than fall. And I was thinking I could use like different pinks or different purples, a bunch of different purple colors or whatever, and do flowers. I think that would be really pretty, but I don't think you want to get too crazy with the colors. You don't want to do pink and purple and yellow and orange for this. I just, I don't know. I could be wrong, but I don't think that would look very good. But anyways, that's the technique. It works better with a solid image. And I'm just going to stamp a couple leaves here on the front of my envelope. Oh, so pretty, right? Okay, and then I'm gonna grab my chamois. You wanna, if you're gonna stamp this in ink, then you wanna clean this off because you don't want all those colors to get into your ink pad. And I just want to do a little something on the inside of my card. And I'm just going to stamp a Cajun craze leaf in there. Okay, now we're ready for assembly. When you're done with this, you can throw it away. And it's gonna look like this. And we're just gonna wipe it off. And that's the beautiful silicone craft sheet. Glue, everything, everything just comes right off of it. It's amazing. Okay. You can find that in my store, by the way. A lot of people don't realize that we handle that, but when you go to the store, you just type in silicone and that'll come up. And I don't know how much it is, four, six dollars, I'm not really sure. It doesn't cost that much, but it is wonderful to have. Okay, so let's put our card together. We are going to take, oh, <laughs> by the way, you're going to die cut this leaf with this. And of course, through the magic of TV, I've already done that. And I am going to add my leaves with some liquid glue. And we're just going to put this down, maybe right about there. Bring this one in, maybe right about there. We're gonna come in with this one. Right about there. Then I'm going to bring in my sentiment layer and we're going to put it, I'm not going to put it in the center. I'm going to offset it just a little bit. Get it straight, Kelly. Get it straight. There we go. Okay. And then, have you guys seen this amazing metallic ribbon? This is Cherry Cobbler and Gold Metallic Ribbon. It's in the Holiday Mini Catalog. It is absolutely beautiful. 
And all I'm gonna do with it is tie a loose little knot Loose knot, not a tight knot. Tight knot is not gonna look that great. Trim this off. Oops, get a little bit more angle there, there we go. And then we're gonna grab a glue dot. And I'm gonna put that right at the base of my leaf. Here we go. Now, quick and easy. You guys saw how many of these leaves I stamped up. You can make a whole bunch of them out of one little palette. There's our envelope right here. What do you guys think of that? Very easy, very cool. It's called Baby Wipe re Technique. And the sky is the limit on what you can do with this. Also, remember this little tidbit. Add a little bit of bling behind just a straight little sentiment like this and look at how that spices that up. Now, when I first made this card, I used gold foil paper. So here's one with the gold foil, also pretty, but I like this bling on here too. Both of them, I think, turned out great. Yay! Okay, let me get this put away. Make sure I don't lose anything. Where did my bin go? Right here. Okay, you guys, take a drink. What's everybody drinking tonight? I've got my strawberry lemonade. It's what I like to drink. It keeps me awake and sane. so hot. Oh, I said I had some samples for you too. Who reminded me? Nobody. No, I don't know. Somebody might have. <laughs> oh, Sarah said it's a new technique for her to try. You're going to love it. It is so much fun. Now remember, you want to choose your more solid images rather than your line art or outline images. Here is another gorgeous card. I don't know who made this, but look at this. This uses the same stamp set. What is that called? The same bundle, gorgeous leaves. Look at how pretty that is. She's got leaves underneath this vellum and she used those little polka dotty stamps under there too. And then the grateful is gold embossed. And then some of that um, essentials twine. I, I think that's what it's called. Is that what it's called? We have gold and silver. Look at how pretty, fun fall right? Okay, next up. Oh, this is made by Kayleen Murray. Look at how pretty this is. This is very different, different colors. I love the, um, this is evergreen color. I think this is just jade. And then this is cinnamon cider, but beautiful, beautiful. Here's that time-worn embossing folder on there, right? And then this one is by my very own Sarah Simon. Sarah is a friend and team member. Look at her gorgeous card. She used that wood background embossing folder. And then again with the gorgeous fall colors and some of that evening evergreen, beautiful ribbon. Patsy says she's never seen this before. That makes me so happy. I love to hear that you guys. Like that's my favorite thing to hear because if I can show you something that is totally gonna rock your socks, and I know this this does, right? Um, it did when I first learned it. If I can show you something that's gonna rock your socks and you've never seen it before, I that is a win-win for me. I love that, because I love seeing new stuff. Okay, next up. Oh my goodness. I think, you guys are gonna flip at this one. Like, flip. This is so cool. 
I am going to, <laughs> my thing like leaned over and now it goes like this because it, it's just like, it's, it, it, it feels almost wet. It's just like a wet rag because it is so humid here in Wisconsin. <laughs> Ingrid was going to donate her old re-inkers, but she better big dig them out of the bag. You dig them out, girl. <laughs> you use those. And use your new ones too, Ingrid. I'm serious when I say that I don't think I have replaced, I've never replaced Cherry Cobbler, and I've still got this much. Like, it just lasts forever. These last forever. I see that my um, pair of pizzazz is getting down to about here, but still... I never, I, I just hardly ever replace any of them. Hang on, I just got, I just got re inker all over myself because, well, that's what I do. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be using Peaceful Prints. And we are making a pocket card. Woo, we've got new ribbon. This is our gold. What size is this? Shimmer ribbon, three eighths of an inch. Look how pretty that is. Holiday mini catalog. This designer series paper, Peaceful Prints, is free with a $50 order. And I think I'm in love because I love the classic Christmas colors on here. Are so pretty. And I told you this is this is called a pocket card. I It's a designer series paper pocket card. This is a Dear Builder Punch, and it is part of the Peaceful Deer stamp set. This is a bundle, very cool. Now, I'm showing you guys all this stuff because while you purchase this, when you hit $50, you can get the paper for free, okay? So I like to kind of show you how to get there to get the free paper. Don't let me forget to show you where this idea came from because otherwise I think somebody is not gonna be very happy with me. I'm gonna be using Smoky Slate. You know what, instead of Smoky Slate, no, nope. Smoky Slate, I'm gonna stick with this. Smoky Slate and Real Red. I was thinking maybe I should use Gray Granite because one of the, or I mean Sahara Sand, one of the colors in here is Sahara Sand, but I'm not using that paper. So I'm gonna stick with Smoky Slate and Real Red. And then I'm bringing in my Stitched So Sweetly dies. If you don't have a set of these, you, I don't know what you're waiting for. I have used them over and over and over again and they are so amazing and beautiful. So let me show you, so I can get all this stuff out of my way. I tend to make kind of a mess with my dies. And Jody Peterson, if you're watching, I know she's going, oh my gosh, Kelly, you're making me crazy. She has all of hers in those nice little magnetic things and they're so pretty and everything is so organized and then she looks at me and goes oh my good lord <laughs> you know you know how I am okay so here's our beautiful dies plus these two these are the two largest scallop stitch scallop rectangles okay that's what we're going to be using for the next two cards because I've actually got two I'm going to share with you okay okay there we go Here's my stamp set. I showed you this Peaceful Deer and the Deer Builder Punch. We're gonna be using that. And I'm also, I think I'm gonna use these wonderful gems. And I wanted to share something with you before I go any further. So as I'm looking at this paper, okay? I'm looking at the paper. You can punch out the deer on this beautiful paper, but some of the deer are going that way, which is the ones you can punch out. Some of the deer are going that way. They're all the same size, but how are you gonna punch out those deer? So, <laughs> let me show you, because it is a Christmas miracle. All right, I'm going to take just a scrap of cardstock and a post-it note, okay? So I'm going to put my post-it note on this scrap of cardstock. And the reason why I'm doing this is if I were to punch through just this post-it note, when you try to take it out of the punch, a little piece of it will raise up and you can't get it out. Like you have to rip it to take it out. So if you put it on a piece of cardstock, you're going to solve that problem. It's gonna keep it nice and stiff. But you're going to punch this out 
okay? And now what you can do is you can take your post-it note and we're going to hold this paper up to the light. So we're gonna hold it up to a light behind it, right? And I've got a light right here. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I'm sure it's kind of hard, but I've got a light right here. I'm holding my paper right up to the light. I can see the other side of the paper with that backwards reindeer, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, I get my lighting back in here. I am going to take this punch and I'm going to punch out the backwards reindeer. And I need to get a little bit closer here. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up with my post-it note. See what I mean? See what I'm talking about there? This is this is what would happen if you wouldn't if you didn't use that cardstock. Okay, look at that. Ha! Ah! And I punched it out of the front of this. So if you would like to take this paper and punch out all those reindeers that are going the opposite way on the back, you can do that. So then you'll have reindeers going both ways. Is that not incredible? Thanks for the hearts, you guys. It's like, what? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Beth, yes, I am a big deer hunter also. So um, your husband and son must have the deer punch for their cards. Not kidding. <laughs> Gotta have it. Okay, so remember this paper is free with a $50 order and you can punch out all of these now. I just showed you how. Okay, but if you don't wanna punch out the paper, if you wanna just use it, you can stamp your deers and punch these out also because the punch works in this one and this one, that one obviously going the wrong way, but you've got some beautiful, beautiful images in here. And we are going to make a really cool card now. So hang tight. Whew. Okay, we are going to start off with a piece of designer series paper. And this piece of paper Hang on a second so I can see what I'm doing. Yep, okay. This piece of paper, is this the right one? Mm, hang on, hang on. Hang on a second, I gotta look at something. Yeah, I think I, did I cut it wrong? Hang on. Oh, yeah, I wanted to use this one. Okay, so I'm like, no, that's not going the right way. We are going to bring in our paper trimmer and make sure that this is my right piece of car. Oh, yep, okay, so here we go. Five and a quarter by 12. And I want my pattern going this way instead of up and down, okay? And I'm gonna show you another one of these pocket cards going vertically. <laughs> I always have to think when I'm doing horizontal, vertical. Which one? Horizontal, horizon goes this way. Do you guys do stuff like that? It seems so silly, but that's how I remember things. Okay, so five and a quarter by 12. We're going to score, and you want to be careful when you're scoring your designer paper. You don't push too hard because you'll tear it. It's not as strong as cardstock. So we're going to Oh, Melissa, Melissa says she got a text message and missed how to punch out the deer going the other way. Yes, you can go back and watch these videos again. As soon as I'm done being live, you can fast forward and rewind, and you know that. So just in case somebody else doesn't know that. Okay, so we scored at four, and now we're gonna score at eight. And again, don't push too hard. You do not want to rip your paper. Okay. Hang on just a second. I gotta make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, so if we do it this way, now we are going to cut from here to here. So from this last score line here down to the tip, we're gonna cut this off. Okay, I'm gonna fold this so I can see where that score line is a little easier. There we go. So right there. 
from the score line to the tip, cut it off. Whew. There we go. Okay. Now you can keep this and use it for something else. You know, as paper hoarders, we don't like to throw things away, right? <laughs> so I'll put this back in my in my pack because that's what we do. And now we're going to fold on that score line. And we're going to fold on that other score line. There we go. Oh my goodness. Very cool, right? So far. And now we're going to put the rest of our card together. I'm going to take a little bit of glue. You want to put it on the pointy end. You can use tear and tape if you want, but this is designer paper, so this should stick just fine. If you were using cardstock doing this, I would recommend tear and tape because it will always want to flip back open. Okay, so this makes our pocket. Here comes the rest of our layers. Ooh, I've got an envelope here. I've got a black layer. This layer is four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I've got another black layer that is three and a half by four and three quarters. And then you need scraps. And I've got, where did our, where did our dies go? Right here. Okay, so I used white with the big one. And I have two small ones here using this small die and then a black with the big one. So black and white with the big one, two white ones with the smaller, just the smaller size of that. Okay. Whew. So, oh, hang on a second. Did I really need two? I, you only need one of these. I'm sorry. I think I did that in case I screwed something up. <laughs> just so you know. All right, we're gonna take this now and we are going to stamp on it. I've got these gorgeous, gorgeous evergreen trees and my smoky slate ink. So I'm gonna take one tree and stamp it a little higher in the middle and one a little bit lower and then another one. So they're all three at kind of different levels, okay? Then I'm gonna take my real red and my sentiment that says sending love and peace this season. And we're gonna stamp that right in the middle. You guys see what a mess I am? Where did, oh, here's my baby wood. <laughs> red, red will always get me. Not that other colors don't too, but because they do. Okay, oh, I should have left that open. Okay, now this is going to go on this black layer, this, um, the big black layer. So you've got a big white one and a big black one. We're gonna put this on here. Oh my gosh, and these scallops, stitch scallops are just so, so pretty. We're gonna take that and put it on the front of here. Did I put any, I don't think I put any ribbon in here. Hmm. Oh yeah, I did, this ribbon, right? Okay, so before we glue this down, I think what I wanna do is this little deal. So let me grab my seal. I'm gonna grab my seal. I like Seal Plus. I use that when I need a tape runner. So I'm gonna do this and this. And now I'm going to go like this and I'm going to weave this back and forth. We'll take a look at this on the front. Oops, hang on. 
before I push it down just so I can see if if this is really what I want like see that one doesn't look like it's sticking out far enough so we're gonna we're gonna redo that this is a very popular trendy look with ribbon oh my gosh <gasps> look how pretty that is now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this one down a little bit and center it a little bit more what do you guys think Yep, this is where you can kind of do what you need to do. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to put this on dimensionals because it's pretty tall. Or, it, you know, and that's probably the best way to stick it down at this point because that ribbon is all weaved back and forth there. And I don't know how the glue would really adhere to that well. So, I'm going to do dimensionals. Yeah, Seal Plus really does make this so much better, Tina. You are absolutely right. It just makes it so much easier rather than trying to weave it back and forth and use tape, for example. Okay, so here's the front. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. See, now I haven't made this card yet. It was just an idea in my head, you guys. Oops, I got it crooked. Hang on. Mm. There we go. I think that's looking good. Okay. Whew, look how pretty that is. Okay, so now I'm gonna take one of my deer. Let me wipe the red off my knuckle. I just stuck my knuckle in the red. I'm gonna take one of these deer and we're going to add him to the front. I should use black dimensionals, but whatever. Where's the baby? Here's the baby. My black dimensionals fell all over the floor when <laughs> you heard that big collapse crash earlier. So I don't know where they are. They're down there someplace. And I'm going to take this and put this little deer right here. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Lola. I'm happy to see you on here tonight. Lola says, cool card. It is really cool. Don't let me forget to show you where I got the idea from. I hope she's watching tonight. Okay, here's our black. This was the four and a quarter by five and a half. We're going to center this on here. There we go. I see that I didn't cut this at an angle. Let me do that. There we go. Okay. Okay, where's our embellishments? Right here. Here comes our embellishments. You guys are so sweet thank you so much and I think I want to go with the red but we're gonna check it out we're gonna test it out and see do we want red do we want gold I uh, I think I want red I think red is going to really look really spectacular on here these are the wonderful gems by the way and I think I'll just put one right there Three is usually my, my deal. All right, now we've got this going on and we've got this going on. Here's a little pocket. So we need to put some stuff in the pocket, right? Oh, that's where this comes in. Um, this is the larger scallop. And then this piece is the four and three quarters by three and a half, basic black again. And I think what I'm gonna do, I'm going to, okay, so. I grabbed two sentiments out of the Peaceful Deer stamp set. I've got, uh, it's the best time of the year, Merry Christmas. And I wanted to stamp this together. So I like to add it to the same block, right? And so I didn't test it out yet to see if I got it straight, if I like the look of it, and I don't like the look of it, so I'm going to clean my stamp and I'm going to push this up a little bit. I want this to be a little bit closer. So this is how I do this. I just kind of put it on here. I eyeball it, ink it up, and stamp it on my scrap paper. And that 
it really does look pretty good but usually it takes me a few more times than that you guys so don't don't be hard on yourself if you don't get it after the second try because well it's really quite ridiculous that that happened <laughs> let's just keep it real okay so here comes my red oh perfect and then I got these little trees that are also from the same stamp set. I'm gonna grab that gray again. We're gonna just stick with the gray in the trees. And I'm just gonna stamp that. Look at how pretty that is. I love this. You know, this is, you're gonna see more stuff from me with this stamp set. Hang on, will I get the hair out of my mouth? Gee whiz. Okay, now we're gonna put this together. This goes on here. And this tucks right in there. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh, I just love this. Like I said, I didn't make this card yet. So it was like, it was in my head. Ah, oh, so cool. Okay, two and a half, two and a half by six. Debbie says she just ordered this bundle. You're going to love it, Debbie. So I am going to add some glue to my envelope. And we are going to make that envelope pretty. And then trim, trim, trim. Juanita says she hasn't used the bundle yet, but she did use the punch. There's horns in the punch too, which is really cool. So you could put antlers on your deers. I don't know if I really, I think my antlers would mess with my um, sentiment there, but I like the antler idea on the deers. And if you have any men, this makes, you can use this stamp set and the punch to make some great man cards, right? Happy birthday, get well, whatever you need, happy retirement. But you could also send good luck cards to your hunters. <gasps> Love it. Okay, I gotta make sure, I'm gonna put my deer away so I don't lose it, cause you know, I punched it out. I don't wanna just toss it away. All right, now, hang tight because I have another card. I know, rock star night tonight. I really missed you guys. So we're gonna do another really super cute card. This one is gonna be quick, I think, maybe. Maybe not, <laughs> we'll see. And we are going to be using Just Jade, Fresh Freesia, Calypso Coral, and Balmy Blue inks, along with the Penguin Playmates Designer Series paper. Oh, um, <gasps> Somebody is asking any more information on your million dollar stamp set designs. Okay, so let me fill you in. You guys can look at this paper while I tell you about it. So I started working on a stamp set or a bundle or something, I don't even remember. And when it came down to it, you know, we didn't finalize anything or whatever, but as we're working on it, I just wasn't feeling it. So I scrapped the idea. I'm like, I don't, this is not, I need to love my stamp set. And this is not making me love anything. So we started over. And what I came up with is some sentiments and they're gonna be kind of sassy sentiments and it may or may not have something to do with the crown. So I think that's all I can tell you guys, but we are working on it. The other thing that I can tell you is that my stamp set will not be in any catalog until I don't even know when, 2022 maybe or 23, I'm not even sure because that's how far ahead Stampin' Up um, is making things. Okay, so someone just asked me who inspired my card. I am going to show you this beauty. Ah! This uses the In Symmetry Designer Series paper and stamp set. Look at how cute this is. This is from Valerie Albanese. And she just turned in her Technique Club Rewards form and said, thank you for your creative ideas. 
and this came in the mail while I was gone. And I grabbed this and I went, oh my good Lord. The thing that I really love about it, 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 of course it's beautiful and Valerie is a fabulous stamper. The thing I really love about it is you get to use both sides of your designer paper. So you wanna be careful. Now her card opens up like this, right? And we have the pocket here. You wanna be careful when you're using paper that isn't just random, but that has up and down. Like this dots just random, but these animals, you don't want them to be upside down, right? So you have to pay attention when you're folding it. This card goes sideways. So I made my deer be sideways. But if I wanted it to open like Valerie's card, okay, I would want to make sure that my deer are going running this way, not this way, up and down, vertically horizontally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So you have to be mindful of that. But isn't that just the coolest thing? Yeah, I fell in love with this. And I'm like, I have to do it. And then I thought of all these ideas, this being one of them. So let me continue on. And by the way, Valerie, thank you very much for this fantastic idea. Quick and easy cards. Love it. And now we're going to bring in the Penguin Playmates Designer Series paper. Again, this is a free pack of paper with your $50 order. And we're using the Penguin Place and the Penguin Builder Punch for this card. And this stamp set has 28 different pieces in it. Here, let me move this out of the way. Put that over there. And here we go. So this is just a scrap. Oops. Hang on, I'm dropping things. Here's some more stamp set. I had to put it in two things because there's so many stamps in here and I wanted to use a whole bunch of them. All right. We are going to... Find all my bits and pieces, so hang tight. Oh, that's my envelope. Um, uh, I think I already lost something, but we'll just make a new one. It's not a big deal. Okay. Whew. Scrap. Oh, I didn't lose it. Never mind. All right, so this is my paper. Okay, and it is five and a quarter by 12. I've scored it at four and eight, and then I put it in my paper trimmer and I cut from that score line down to this tip and cut this piece off. So one side looks like this, and the other side is fresh freesia. Now, I folded on my score lines to make my pocket, and again, you, you want your critters to be right side up and they're right side up here. And then when I open it up, they're right side up here. So that's really cool about this paper. Okay, we are going to, um, you need one small scalloped rectangle from the stitch so sweetly, right? We have a small and then the, the large and the next smaller size. One white one, small, large, white, and large, just jade. Okay, so that's what we did here. And I don't know what I'm going to do. This is, the big one is for the front. Oh, wait, that's not right. This is, um, and then we have a piece of fresh freesia. <laughs> three and a half by four and three quarters. This is going to be for the inside that goes in the pocket four and a quarter by five and a half is just jade and this is going to be our card front and it's wrong hang on i just looked at it and i went that doesn't look right and i betcha i probably put the piece away i don't know i don't see it here that i was supposed to use so let's try that again kelly measuring is hard five and a half by four and a quarter. 
Okay. Sorry about that, you guys. Here we go. Okay. Yep, this is the right size. Okay, so this is going to be our card base. And I'm going to go ahead and glue our pocket in. Where'd my glue go? Right here. Oops. Hang on, it's getting crowded. Things are getting messy here. We're gonna just glue this little edge down right here. And again, if you were doing this with cardstock, I would probably use tear and tape. But since it's designer paper, it's gonna be fine. And then we're gonna take this, and we are going to add this to the card base which is just a quarter sheet card step. Okay, there we go. So here's our card, here's our pocket. We're gonna do something on the front that's super, super cute. We're gonna use Balmy Blue Ink. and the snow slope. And I'm just gonna put my slope down here with the balmy blue ink. And then I wanna put a few little snowflakes. And again, this is all coming out of the Penguin Place stamp set. Oh, you know what, before you do snowflakes, let's do our sentiment. The sentiment says, I like you a lot L-O-T-T-L-E. L -O -T -T -L -E. And I'm like, what the heck does that mean? We'll talk about it when we get on the inside. So hang tight. We're gonna do some little snowflakes. Just randomly, just a few. I also have my Wink Estella here. And I thought it would be kind of cute to add a little bling to the snow line. A little bit of glitter going on. Can you see that? Just a little bit of shimmer, really pretty. I know it's hard to see in the camera, but it's there. Trust me, my people will see it. Hang on, I gotta get a drink. Betty says these pocket cards are just the cutest. Betty, I know, right? These are the thing that excite us. <laughs> like, I was. I opened that card up, that Valerie set, and I was like, oh my good lord, we are going to have so much fun with this. Okay, now I'm going to grab my scrap, and we're going to stamp some penguins. Oh, we also need to use black ink, so hang on, I don't know where that went. Oh, it's on the floor. Must have fallen out of my bin. I've got Memento black ink here, and a penguin. So I'm gonna do this cute little penguin. Now, one of the cool things about this paper, you guys, is that, oh, let me grab it. Just like the deer, you can punch out the penguins out of this designer paper too, okay? Um, you have to cut out the bears and the foxes and the other things, but you can cut out or punch out these penguins on here. And you know what I really like? I love the patterns that are on the other side of the cute paper because you can do so many things with those. This, these stripes, the polka dots, these stripes, so pretty. Okay, back to our regular scheduled program. Squirrel, we're going to take our little penguin. Now, look at your punch before you stamp. And I can see that my penguin is upside down, so I'm going to stamp him upside down too. Yay! Okay. Before we do anything, punch him out, I wanna finish stamping him. It's just easier when you have a bigger piece to stamp on rather than a little tiny penguin. So I've got Calypso Coral ink here, and I chose that because it is one of the coordinating colors with the Penguin Playmates Designer Series paper. 
I always like to tell you guys if I have a reason. Sorry, I just bumped my crown into my camera. I always like to tell you if there's a reason why I chose something. Because I know a lot of times we have trouble deciding. Like, how do you pick? How do you pick which to use, which to do, what to... <gasps> Look at how cute he is! Is he just stinking adorable? Okay, then we're going to punch out our penguin. And then we're going to grab the fresh freesia. And we are going to stamp a cute little stocking cap. There's a cute little scarf in here. Yay, look at how cute they are. Super cute. And what is this? Oh, these are the horns. Okay, so we're gonna use these for our card, but I wanted to share or show you some of these other little images because I do have them mounted and why wouldn't I? <laughs> okay, this little penguin cute he is he is like sliding on his belly and he has one foot not two like the other one I think Stampin Up really thought of everything here so here's his little swimmy foot <laughs> and then he has a different nose let's see there we go because the nose for this penguin isn't going to work for that penguin so Stampin Up really thought of everything here Look at his cute little nose. So this one is swimming and, or sliding, sliding down the hill. So let me just stamp this in here. Do that, here he is going right down the little hill. Look at, I kind of missed that end over here. So I'll just put another little slope in, just like that, yay. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to show that to you because I think he's adorable. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you is we're going to stamp our penguin. And you want to stamp him upside down, right? Um, <clears throat> hang on just a second. I am going to grab some whatever color you think horns should be. We're going to grab and put some horns on our little... <laughs> On our little penguin. Look at how cute he is. Okay, and we need some little feet. Boop. And we need the correct little penguin nose. Here it is. It goes on this penguin. There we go. Look at that. Now you can't punch this out. The horns won't punch out, right? So you would want to um, stamp it all. You can stamp it all, or you can punch out the body and then stamp the horns on your card base and then put the body over it, right? You could do that. But look at how cute they are. Aren't they sweet? Yeah. Next payday, Kimberly says she is definitely getting this set. I highly recommend it. Okay, we're going to punch out this little penguin. And... You're gonna see some more penguin cards from me. I would like to spend time and show you all the little goodies, but I think we are running, yeah, we're running at an hour and a half already. So I just want you to know why I'm not gonna show you the rest of this punch. There's a punch for the feet, there's a punch for the inside body of the penguin, and I'll do another card for you, maybe during this week if I have time. We have a catalog kickoff starting. Barb, Dina, and I are putting on on a Facebook group that is going to be a whole bunch of fun. It's only $10. And um, some of the fun posts started yesterday, but mystery stamping just started today. So if anybody's interested in that, you're going to find, or actually you can message me and I'll give you the link to it. But on my Facebook page, there's a registration for the catalog kickoff. $10. Super fun. There's going to be make and take packets available. Um, there's mystery stamping. There's bingo. We're going to have a meet and greet, I believe, Wednesday night this week with Dina Barb and I all on a Zoom. So that'll be a lot of fun. We'll be If you don't have Zoom, don't worry. Um, we're broadcasting it to Facebook, to this private group. So if anybody wants any information about the catalog kickoff, 
We've barely gotten started. I know Dina loaded up 15 cards today in the gallery and there's gonna be lots more coming so you'll have great ideas with this holiday mini catalog. Okay, so you're gonna cut out this scarf and this hat and they're relatively easy. So you don't have to futz around too much. I've already done it, so I could save a little time because I knew I would be pressed for time tonight, pulling you guys kind of late. But I missed you. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure you got your money's worth tonight. How's that? It's always funny. I always <clears throat> tell Steve he's worth every penny that I pay him, whether he's cooking for me or mowing my lawn or grocery shopping for me. I always tell him he's worth every penny I pay him. And well, you, you know I don't pay him, right? <laughs> So you guys are getting your money's worth tonight. Yay! So here's our little scarf. There's our cute, cute, cutie patootie little penguin, right? Um, I wanna do one more thing here. I wanted to stamp some little Christmas trees with that Just Jade and I kind of forgot. So let's get some little Christmas tree in here. Maybe one, maybe two, we'll see what happens. Here we go, one Christmas tree, two Christmas tree. Oh, that's pretty good. And then we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this little guy. One, two. And we're going to put him right on here. He's just sitting right there on that little hill. Okay, now we're ready to put our card together. Now remember, this front says, I like you a lot. The inside, we're going to stamp the sentiment that goes with that. Oh my gosh, isn't this so cute? Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Mm. Oh, we're going to go ahead and do this. I wanted to share with you this beautiful white organdy, glittered organdy ribbon. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie a bow and we're gonna add this because this is gonna be a little glitz and glamour. Ah. There we go. This is some really, really pretty ribbon with the glitter in it. Pull this down, pull this down, maybe if I can get a hold of it. There we go. I was glad I got to be on here tonight. My husband was a little cranky today. <laughs> Does your husband ever get a little cranky? Hmm. Yeah, he was. He was, I can honestly say he was pretty pissy. <laughs> the rain. I think the rain did it for him. <laughs> and all the stuff that's soaking wet. But yeah, so I get to be in here tonight and I don't have to listen to him whine about anything. Like, you know, what are you gonna do? It is what it is, right? Where'd my glue dots go? You guys see them? Glue dots, any place? Oh, here they are. Okay, so I tied this in a cute little bow and I'm just going to add a mini glue dot to the back and I think I'm just gonna put it right there. Yep, that's gonna be perfect. Trim this off a little bit. Trim this off. Ah. And now we need to do the inside. Here's our layers for the inside and we have to get the other sentiment. So the front says, I like you a lot. The inside is gonna say, it's like a little except a lot. Isn't that cute? I just thought that was so cute. It's like a little except a lot. Okay, I'm using balmy blue, just like I did on the front. And we're gonna stamp that right on here. And then I might as well give it a tree while we have trees, right? Little tree right down here, yay. And how about, I still got my blue out here, so I'll do a, just a couple little stamps of snowflakes. Now, these are not Christmas cards at all. They're winter cards, so you can make these for your friends all winter long. Friends and family. This would be a great little um, set to stamp up, a, you know, like six of them and give them as a gift because they're all occasion. 
Here comes our little pocket. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, you guys, I just love these. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you, hang on, we're almost done. I'm still sweating profusely. At least I'm not dripping, glistening all over my projects. Where's my, here's my take your pick tool. Okay, so I have some googly eyes. And these are just, you know, googly eyes. You get them at your store. These are teeny weeny ones. And I am going to add some little googly eyes to my penguin. <laughs> Because googly eyes are super funny. Oh my goodness, look at my little googly eyes. How cute is that? Okay, so hang on, let me share this with you now. I will get all of these put away. Yeah, you're gonna see a lot more. I think we're using this particular bundle in the catalog kickoff too, I think. Don't quote me on that because I've been on vacation and my head turns to mush pretty much overnight. Um, <laughs> so I have to be looking at the written stuff before I can swear myself to anything. Oops, wrong one. Hang on. Okay, we're going to bring back in our cutie patootie little cards here. Get all my junk out of the way. Here comes the cards from tonight. We have the reindeer, or the deer, I should say. It's not really a reindeer. We have this. Here's our little pocket. We have, okay, so this one opens this way and has a pocket in there. Now we have this one that opens this way and has a pocket in here, right? And then we have our baby wipe technique. And the one thing that I didn't do yet was my envelope flap. So, let me get this on here. There we go. This is gonna be stinking adorable. And I can't hardly wait for it to snow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can wait a long time for it to snow, right? Okay. Oh, who has tornado sirens going off? See, I can't stamp and pay attention. I am so sorry. I hope everything is okay. Yeah, see, I think, Kat, that these googly eyes, she says to use um, mini glue dots, but these googly eyes are too small they're really tiny okay so here's our cute little look at that look at how cute that is aren't they adorable you guys ah, I'm so happy with the way they turned out especially since I didn't make them ahead of time <laughs> well this I did but the rest of them I didn't okay thank you so much for joining me tonight I am going to show you my mail in just a second I've got some really pretty cards to share with you Thank you for your orders. I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code. You'll find an online ordering button on my blog in the right-hand column or at the bottom of every blog post. Also, you'll find this host code there, both places, same thing. And don't forget, catalog kickoff. Um, I'll try to post that again as soon as we're done here. Also, I have that peach class. I have a few packets of that left, so don't forget that. That'll also be on my Facebook page. And, um, oh, down in Missouri, they're having tornado stuff. <laughs> Tina says you knocked it out of the park tonight. Thank you so much, Tina. You guys down in the in Missouri area, I um, we're all praying for you that everything is okay. Tornadoes are scary stuff. I used to live in Missouri and we had tornadoes every week, like every week. So you missed me because it's your daughter's 40th birthday party, Terry. Well, happy birthday to your daughter. That's a good reason to not be here, but you can watch the replay. You're going to want to watch this because these are fabulous cards. If I do say so myself. Okay. Let me show you my mail. So when I went camping, um, I had 
a person who I met online. She follows me. And she's from over in the area where we were camping. And look at this cute gift she brought me. She came to our campsite and we hung out for a while. Went and got ice cream and chatted. She's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator over in that area. And said, since I was going to be there, could she come and meet me? And that was so much fun. Her name is Heather Arnold. And look at this. So she got some watermelon candies. And this is a paper pumpkin kit with one of our little tiny boxes in here. And she made it into a treat. Isn't that cool? Yeah, this is an adorable paper pumpkin box. And this is the card. This is oh, that new harvest set in the mini catalog. So, so pretty. Thank you so much for meeting with me. You are the goat. What does that stand for? It's one of our stamp sets. Oh, I can't remember. Do you guys remember? I can go grab this set. Mm. Yeah, super cute. I remembered when she when I read it. So thank you so much, Heather. It was so nice to meet you. I am going to share with you Kim Malam from Tennessee sent me this beautiful card. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Happy National Friendship Day. Thanks for all the time you invest in us, your friend Kimberly. Look at how cute this is. Whoa. This is that in symmetry bundle again. Sweet, I guess. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Kim, this is the bomb. Beautiful card. Even the envelope is gorgeous. Thank you so much. Okay, then we have, oh, let me hold this the right way. This is the right way. Look at how pretty this is. This is from Denise Lynn. And look at how gorgeous, gorgeous. This is that hand penned, so pretty. Thank you so much for the bingo prize from the June Bingo Night. It is always fun playing and I really love your video tutorials. Denise, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, bingo this month in August will be on the 25th. I'm gonna open up registration on the 11th, so watch for that. And then I have uh, oh, hang on. This is from Sherry Adams. And look at hers. Her thing got destroyed. Oh, hang on. Oh, did I do this yet? This is Sherry's. Yeah, I think I did. Um, look at the mailman or the mail, the post office wrecked this. Like all the color came off the card and there's nothing left on the card anymore. And I know it was just so pretty. She says, just because I am grateful for you. Look at how pretty that card would have been. Arr! But anyways, the mail ruined it. And I had a chat with um, Sherry and we talked it over. <laughs> so sorry, Sherry, but thank you so much for the card. I do appreciate it. And this is from Carol Adams. Look at how pretty this is. I love this. This is that watercolor shapes. We used this in bingo last month. And a happy, a little bit late birthday. And she says, I'm sorry the card is so late, but on your video, you said you like, you like it even if they are late. You darn right I do. So thank you so much for your birthday wish. And she wrote this on here and left this so that I can use this card. And I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Carol. Next, we have, uh, this is Judy Dumpton. Judy was one of our winners tonight. Yay, Judy, look at how pretty that is. Oh, I love this. This is a color and contour stamp set with the hand penned paper. Beautiful. Thank you so much for the hand pen paper. <laughs> she says, it was such a blessing to me. I have learned so much from you. I love your humor, your creativity, and your joy. You always make me laugh. Judy, thank you so much. That just makes my day. Can't even tell you. Next, we have Pam Taylor. Look at this. I love this. I love this girl. Carrying all the presents. Um, she also, there's one where she carries a tree and something else. But look at how cute this card is. Yeah, this is in our holiday mini catalog again. And um, I read this whole thing, Pam, and thank you so much. 
She said she's been thinking of making this card since she heard it was my birthday and she finally had a day to do it. I am so <laughs> happy that you did because it's super, super duper cute. Last but not least, we have this gorgeous card and this is from Faye Mays. She wanted to send a card to say thank you for the fun embellishments from the June 27th Prize Patrol. I love watching your Facebook videos. Look at how pretty that is. This is beautiful. Thank you so much, Faylene. My goodness, how do I get so lucky to get so much mail, right? All right, you guys, thank you so much for spending the night with me. It is now uh, almost an hour and 45 minutes in. You guys hung in there till the end. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I will be live again next Sunday, August 15th. Later this week, I'm taking Molly and little Miss Val and Haley back to my mom's house because the Clark County Fair will be in full swing this weekend. And that's where I used to go when I was a kid. I showed horses. And so I'm really looking forward to going to the Clark County Fair and seeing all the exhibits. And then, of course, they have the carnival rides and a truck pull. Love the truck pull. My dad used to compete in it. And he oftentimes won. So that's always brings back some memories for me. Lots of nostalgia there. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful week. Stay cool. Stay safe with all this crazy weather. I hope the tornadoes didn't develop, you guys, that are dealing with that tonight. I will have the cards that I made tonight with all the dimensions and details, shopping lists, so you can see like what color inks and cardstock and all the goodies. You'll be able to click on them and head right over to my store. I will have these posted either tonight or tomorrow morning. We'll see what happens. I need to go eat something and uh, see what my husband, who was cranky, <laughs> see if he's doing better now or if I need to just come back up here and work. <laughs> you know, you know how it is, right? You guys have yourselves a wonderful week. Thank you so much. I appreciate you more than you could know. Bye-bye.